In makerspaces, there's a problem because students build things without understanding how they work. For example, this is an audio speaker. The way speakers work is electricity vibrates a magnet, in this case, attached to a blue plastic cup, and that vibration produces sounds. But the problem is that the physics are invisible. And so when one looks at that system, they cannot understand what's going on. So we use HoloLens headsets to have people visualize physics concepts, such as audio waves, shown in green here, electricity, that's shown in purple, magnetic fields, that are shown in blue and green, and also system components that are attached to these labels. The visualizations are responding to changes in the physical objects. So, for example, we can put electricity in one direction and we can watch how the magnetic field changes or how the physical object is being influenced. Um, we can also take the physical object and change it and visualize what happens to the changes in magnetic field when we do that. So, for example, in this case, we're bringing these objects closer and the magnetic fields are merging. And the system is also made so that it responds to changes in the objects, like we can change this coil to change it to the smaller one, and now the visualization is being updated. We can also control what kind of information is being displayed. So in this case, the magnetic fields have been disabled so that students can just focus on just the electricity and the forces that are being shown here. And the system is made so that it logs everything from each student's perspective, so that when two students are talking to each other, we can record this information and then we can analyze their learning process as it unfolds over time, rather than just learn, focusing on pre and post tests. Our study research design includes four conditions in which we vary the presence of AR hardware and the presence and layering of augmented educational content. We find differences in learning, collaboration, and attitudes, and discuss implications for designing educational experiences. For more information, please get in touch with us or see our previous publications.